Hi, welcome to Teaching Moments. I'm Hillary. So if you haven't watched my channel much, I am homeschooling four children ages 9 through 18, and they all have dyslexia. I've been teaching them how to read and spell with the Barton Reading and Spelling System. So a long time ago, well, when I first started my channel, which is about a year and a half ago, I did a Barton review for you guys to kind of show the basic overview of what Barton lessons look like. But um, that was through like any of the any of the books. I'm gonna do today a Barton like breakdown of the levels. So for today, I'm gonna review or give you a breakdown of books one through four. So my youngest child is in book five right now. So I have taught book one through four, four times now. <laughs> and so I just wanted to give that a breakdown before I forgot <laughs> what the first ones were like. So I've already sold my books one, two, and three. So unfortunately I don't have those books to show you what they look like. But um, so book one is really thin and short. I think there was only like five lessons on it if I remember it right. But it just basically did the phonemic awareness. They didn't even use, they used tiles, but they didn't have any letters or sounds on the tiles for the kids. It was just getting the phonemic awareness. It was pretty quick to do. Um, most kids I've seen get it done in a week, um, sometimes two weeks. It depends on how consistent you are and how, um, how many times you do it and how profoundly dyslexic they are and the ages of your children. Sometimes if you notice that they are having troubles even with book one, then sometimes there's a step you need to do before starting the Barton system. Um, I think there was like foundations of, I don't remember what the names of them are, so I'm not gonna actually give that to you right now, but um, you can go ahead and look into those if your child is having troubles with book one. But for the most part, for my four kiddos, we didn't have any problems. It was like lickety split. We were through them in a week. Now, if you buy level one from Barton Reading, there is an exchange program that if you use it up within two weeks or you can look on the Barton uh, website to find out for sure, then they will exchange for you and, and give you book two instead. Um, so that you don't feel like you're wasting your money. So I would say it's a good idea to buy book one from Barton so that you can uh, use that exchange unless you have more than one child that you're going to be teaching like I did. I have four um, or unless you are planning on becoming a tutor yourself, then you can buy book one and just keep it for your tutoring purposes. Okay, so that's book one. And then we move on to book two. Book two introduces the letters and their sounds um, and it goes through the BD confusion, which is great because even kiddos that aren't dyslexic have that BD confusion. And my kids, especially my profoundly dyslexic one, he still uses that and he's in book seven. <laughs> but once in a while I'm like, check your letter and he will use it. So I'm glad he has a tool to use. So they talk about that in that one. Um, it is an easy book as well, and but not it, but it's a little more meaty than the first book was. Oh, and so they start to give you the tiles, which here, let me just show you in case you've never used the system before. Your consonants are going to be blue tiles. And notice for this one, it has the line underneath it. And then your vowels are going to be the yellow tiles. So you get those tiles in book two. And then in book three, you start learning one syllable words with short vowels. Um, and it starts the first of your spelling rules. So if you purchase your levels from Barton, which I have, I've purchased levels one through 10. Now I have, I had them all, I've purchased them all, but I sold books one, two, and three already. Um, and if you purchase them from Barton, they give you tutor support, which is great. There's some games online that you can do. And there's also access to flashcards. So um, I printed this on the, a darker blue paper, but light blue works better, actually. Um, and these are flashcards, like this is the floss roll. And then on the back, 
it says floss. If a word has only one vowel and ends with F, L, S, or Z, double it. And so, and then you just go on to the next rule. These cards are so great. I use these a lot. Like even, even though they're not in book three anymore, they're well past it. I've, I go through these, especially at the end of every book and after the end of every break, like Christmas break and summer break, we go through all of the book levels. Um, I try to take time every, almost every lesson to review at least a few of the rules. And it doesn't even have to be in the level they're in. I want them to remember all of them so that they're still applying them. So I highly advise printing these out. Again, that's one really great thing to buying your books from Barton. By the way, I am not paid by Barton to say any of this. I don't even think they realize I'm doing this, but it just worked for me. I'm a parent. A homeschooling teacher that it really worked for us. So I just want to help other people out. So yeah, that's where they start with the um, spelling rules is in book three and you can get those. They help out. Um, book three also begins to teach them units. Let's see what was the first unit. So I think this was the very first unit that they used. They're red tiles. They inter start introducing units in that one and they also teach contractions. For my kiddos, that was one of the hardest things about book three to learn was contractions. Like how to, like they understood that it was two words and what the two words are. They can read aren't and know it's are not or read I'm and know it's I am. But they had a hard time with spelling it. I mean, I taught them it and some of them I even taught twice and they still had a hard time. So really need to continue to refresh that. I sh should actually continue to refresh that with them. When do you know how to spell that? It's great rules though. Like I never knew that that's why we spell a contraction the way we do. So they're very good rules to use. Okay. So let's move on to book four. Book four gets talked about a lot. <laughs> that's because it is a thicker book. It has 14 lessons, which is about the maximum of lessons they will put in a book, I think. Um, it talks about syllable division and vowel teams. There's a lot of rules, but it's, it's needed. It's necessary. The first two times I taught book four, I was like, oh my gosh, this is so hard. This book is a beast. But now I just got done teaching book four to my fourth child and I'm like, ah, that's not so bad. We got it. No problem. So here is book four. I still have that one because he just finished and it is a thicker book. Book one is like so thin and then book two and three aren't very thick, but this one is thick. So it's a bit of a doozy. And then you get flashcards with that one too. So here's the rules for book four, a little thicker. This poor baby's face has almost been scratched off. We've used these so many times. Again, a lifesaver. I highly, highly recommend that for book four that you use these flashcards and um, go over it with them often. Um, so I had to do book four, at least parts of book four over with at least two of my kiddos. I had to do half of it with one of my child over again after they went through the whole book. I had to do half of it with her over again because it just didn't sink in. I think it was actually really close to a summer break and she forgot like the last half of the book. So I went through it again. And then with my son, I, we also had to go through several lessons again. Again, this depends on the severity of dyslexia, how often you use it during the week, how long of a lesson you have, um, just the child's learning, um, how well they are to learning. It, it makes a big difference. And so when people ask how long should it take for the kids to learn these things, it so varies. Um, that's hard to answer that question. I actually asked Susan Barton that one time because I was really nervous that I was doing it wrong. And so I emailed her a question and asked her about it. And that's what she said, that it's going to vary depending on just like I said, how, how dyslexic they are, how often you're using it. Um, but book four can take a while. It can take nine months, a year. I was trying to look at some of the kids' certificates and see how long it took them. Um, 
but yeah, don't be surprised if it takes that long. Take your time, be patient with it. Make sure they understand the lesson they're on before you go to the next lesson. Make sure they've got it and they understand it. This is one you're just gonna have to use your patience with. It's worth it to use your patience and make sure they get it. And just be sure to always review the past lessons that they've learned. So that would be my tips on book four. Um, let me see here. Oh, one other thing. You do get one extra thing in, in book four. You get a spell checker like this to, um, because they start learning about the schwa and schwas are tricky. You don't always know what letter is being used as the, with the schwa, which vowel it's going to be. I mean, you've got some rules on it, but it could still be one or the other. And so that's why they use a spell checker which is understandable. So she gives ideas about when to use this spell checker. I have to say, I'm not fond of the spell checker. <laughs> My kids know that. And so I teach them how to use it once in a while. I give them the rules and show them, but in real life, they're not going to have a spell checker with them, but everybody's got a phone, right? So Usually if they start, if they know how to spell it well enough that maybe they're just missing one or two letters, usually the spell checker on their phone is gonna pick it up and will be able to help them out. Um, so I have never in my life used a spell checker like this before or even seen one or even knew they existed, which is why I'm not a huge person on having my kids rely on this, but it is good to use just kind of use so so when she goes through an example or two i'll go through like maybe like one of those examples just to show the kids where this can come into play but if she's got several examples i don't use all the examples for this that have the spell checker because again they're not going to have that in real life that's not going to be a tool and once they are learning to read and spell more then um they won't always need it so that's just one of my hang-ups about the spell checker but if it works for someone else that's great. So, um, let's see. I do like the Barton reading system. Have patience with it. Trust the process. It does work. It works for my kids. You got to use it like it's designed and it will work. Um, I want to encourage those out there that it's taking a long time to go through this process of going through all the levels. My daughter is a senior in high school and she started when she was in middle school and she's in book eight. She's almost in book nine. So it's taken her like four years, four or five years to get through this Barton reading system. We did have like a small family emergency and a few other things come up and I took some breaks during the summer because I needed it. <laughs> but um, other than that, she yeah, it's taken her a little while and that's okay. That's okay. It's still working for her and she loves it. So, um, there's also, don't forget there's tile apps. If you guys don't like the actual physical tiles, there are tile apps that you can use as well. All right. So I think that is my breakdown of the books one through four. I do plan on doing a breakdown of the rest of the books later but I think I'll just leave you with that for now. I hope this has helped you guys out and I hope you're doing well out there. Thank you so much for watching.